Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us here on 2 News at Noon. Today, the nation is paying tribute to a man who had a dream. That's right. The day has become a day of service and of remembrance for many. One of the many rallies just wrapped up in the Sugar House area. That's where we have Heidi Hatch. How is the turnout, Heidi? It actually had a great turnout. It was a calm, quiet morning out here. A lot of parents came here with their children who were out of school, hoping that they'll learn a lesson that will stick with them for the rest of their lives. Many others were here holding signs of victims from police shootings that happened throughout the year with a message they wanted to put across to the state of Utah. Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands the celebration of MLK Day 2015 comes at a time of growing concern over racial targeting and police violence involving people of all color. Today we stand here not only as a celebration of the work that Dr. King started, but also as a reminder that we must continue that work. Carnell Black, who works at Westminster, spoke of the road to equality for all, from racial profiling to marriage equality. Make no mistake, you have an obligation and a duty to protect the rights of all people, no matter their background or their narrative. You have an obligation and a duty to speak out against injustices that you see. We ain't gonna stop till our people are free. This newfound mantra is all we have left to hold on to as we march in protest to bring the walls of injustice down. But I am tired of marching. Tired of marching for something that should have been ours at birth. Tanisha Tyler, a student, spoke to the crowd about her frustrations growing up with a white mother and a black father in Utah in a world that she says is not colorblind. Lagoon, 2001, my sisters and I are screaming for our mom, but the ride operator won't let us go to her until my father comes from the other side of the park to verify that she's not trying to kidnap us. This young woman told her story through poetry, refusing, as some tell her to do, and just give up the past. The past means letting go of December 1st, 1955. Rosa Parks refuses to give up her seat when instructed by a Montgomery bus driver beginning the, a 381-day boycott. There were several rallies, not just the one here at Westminster College today. It is also a day of service. I know Brigham Young University is taking part. Westminster will have a day of service on the 23rd. So if you're at home today looking for something to do, a great way to pay tribute to MLK would definitely be to do some service of some sort. But speeches and, again, those service projects going on really all month long. If you look online, I'm sure you could find something you could take part in. Back to you guys. A lot to do. Yep. Okay, thanks, Heidi. Yeah. Thank you very much.